Getting the nation's largest city ready for such a dangerous storm has turned out to be a historic undertaking. For the first time ever, weather has shut down New York City's transit system. And that's just for starters. More now from Armin Katayan. One of the first places to flood could well be here in lower Manhattan, where the East River and the Hudson River converge and the storm surge could be as high as eight feet here in Battery Park. But as you well know, this won't be one of the last places given the forecast. From midtown to downtown, New York City had an eerie, empty look today. We're leaving for the next couple of days. We'll see what happens. Mayor Michael Bloomberg again urged New Yorkers living in low-lying coastal areas most vulnerable to the storm not to mess with Mother Nature. Staying behind is dangerous. Staying behind is foolish. To that end, riders made a mad dash to safety for the nation's largest mass transit system, averaging 7 million people per day, shut down at noon. I'm here for job interviews. I'm a law student in Boston, and uh, I don't think I'm going to make it out. Five major area airports soon followed. A half dozen bridges in and out of Manhattan also set to close if Irene's winds exceed 60 miles per hour for more than a short period of time. Overall, thousands of patients from six local hospitals and 15 nursing facilities were evacuated to higher ground. I think it's a very good idea because if we're in danger, we should evacuate. 78 hurricane shelters ready to receive as many as 70,000 of the 370,000 New Yorkers displaced by the city's first ever mandatory evacuation. Our concern is making sure that the only thing that comes out of this is inconvenience and maybe a little bit of property damage. We don't need people to die. Businesses closed. Construction scaffolding and cranes, any potentially dangerous projectiles, either covered up or tied down. Manhattan, as you know, is built on a lot of rock, so there's not a lot of places where this water can go, either into the subways or the tunnels. And Anthony, that's going to create its own set of chaos. Armin, what about the people who've stayed? What's likely to happen to them? Well, a lot of people are simply hunkered down right now, but Mayor Bloomberg added another problem to this equation when he said the city is going to begin to systematically shut down power in many of the high rises. And he said if you are literally stupid enough to be in a high rise <laughs> elevator when this power goes down, don't expect the the uh, fire department here in New York to come and rescue you because they're going to have a lot of other problems. Armin Katayan in New York. Thanks, Armin.